All right, so here we are the next morning. Just got the heater on today, a little chilly. But you see we got the tension and timing about real nice now. Got the belt centered. Get everything together down there. Just gonna start putting it back together. So I'm gonna put the uh, bow cover back on. See, Tommy's damn near close. It might be the hair off, but it was the damn best I could time with that broken cam. So we'll see how she runs. Worst case in there, we'll get a new cam if we have to, but it's the best I could do. <laughs> well, she'll <so> run. <laughs> so we're. <clears throat> back on the contour obviously the weather's a lot worse today um, so I kind of got ahead of myself I didn't record the video because I don't have my work light set up there to really see too well but uh, like I said yesterday we did get the crank off uh, so today what I did was I had the new Tommy belt on I already know it runs I got a leak down here too with this stupid antifreeze line I was trying to get the, the pulley back off to make sure the belt was real good on this uh, I just got to line the tensioner up there, but this key basically just has to be exactly at 12 o'clock, which is straight up and down, and that gives you uh, top dead center on number one. <coughs> you see I got the new belt. This is a Deco one. Uh, I already have it all lined up and everything. I'm about to do the tension now and then start reassembling it. Uh, I did have it all uh, basically put together just kind of loosely. Uh, found out that the car is actually out of gas which is why when I cranked it it didn't start I sprayed a little bit of carb cleaner down the uh, intake or down the throttle there and uh, she fired right up and ran until we ran out of gas so everything sounded good it had a nice didn't vibrate or sound bad or anything I had everything with serpentine belt was hooked up and all that because I thought maybe the alternator not spinning was not causing it to fire but like I said it just didn't have any fuel because I didn't smell any gas at all I heard the pump, but nothing came up here, and everything looks looked dry. So that's what it ended up being. So like I said, now I'm just about to tighten the tensioner. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, give her a spritz maybe and fire it up. Uh, the guy said he's going to get fuel, but that won't be till later. So we'll see where we're at then. I got the engine mount out and everything. So I'm going to take the valve cover off and clean it. But we know that the firing order is good. All that looks looks good. So I think we're pretty much there. I want to go ahead and put the tensioner on. You basically just want to use, uh, take this, put your little hex, uh, or Allen key. I have an Allen key somewhere around here. Um, but put the Allen key and you want to turn it counterclockwise until that little spring moves up and lines up in here. We already got the clip in the block, so that's good. We just got to have that little piece rise up and line up with it and tighten the bolt with a 10 millimeter to set where the tension will be and then we should be good to go um, I did was able to set the cam too with the tool you see I got the alignment tool there so I was able to back it up enough even though it wouldn't seat straight I was able to pull the cam back enough and uh, put a piece of plastic in because the shim to hold it where it would have been with the other ear there and I think we got it we'll find out once we actually get the car running Hopefully it doesn't throw a code, so if it does, then we'll just have to get another camshaft. Because there's nothing I can do to set it better than that. Alright, we're going to start reassembling the engine. Get the Tommy belt all done. Um, just going ahead and tighten the crank bolt down there. Got the pulley on. I uh, just set the valve cover on. I just did a little light clean to clean out some of the grease. Um, and oil and all that. And then uh, we're going to tighten it down and run the coil pack wires, the spark plug wires, and uh, get the uh, mount and everything back together on the pulley system, the dryer system there. So I got the 5 16 depot for the rear, and we can just use that for the other ones as well.
Section number four, which goes the closest. Four. Cool path on. 